Beauty standards are a lie. Honestly, I just want to get all of the beauty standards from all over the world and just put them into the trash can because that's where they belong. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that anybody actually really fits all of the beauty standards that are out there because it's physically impossible. It's impossible. You are not a product or an object that needs to be edited and tweaked. You are a human being that does not have to look like a doll or an airbrushed Photoshop supermodel 100% of the time. The idea of having a set of rules or like the standard that dictate whether you're beautiful or not is bullshit. That's what it is, it's bullshit. What do certain beauty standards look like? Well, I feel like beauty standards, you know, they depend on the culture and depend on the country that you're in, but there are a couple of universally known ones. For example, um, women cannot have any sort of body hair and men have to be very, very tall. Bullshit. Okay, so here are a couple of things that I've been told growing up. And number one is pale skin is beautiful. Like the more corpse-like you are, the better, which is another thing is that you have to have perfect skin. Like pores, nothing. No pores, no acne, never heard of her. You have to have very, very smooth doll-like skin, which is impossible, impossible. Another thing I was told growing up is that I have to have a very, very tiny waist, but I have to have big hips, but I have to have small thighs. Essentially, I think that most beauty standards kind of boils down to the same thing, which is be skinny, but not too skinny. You have to be lean and toned, but you can't be muscly. You have to have some sort of volume, but not too much. It's like, you can never win. You can never win with these beauty standards. Why is being whiter more attractive? Why is having an hourglass figure more attractive? Why is being taller more attractive? I have no idea who made these standards, but I just wanna say that they are terrible. Both the standards and the person. So it makes us believe that these unrealistic expectations are the norm. So that, you know, when we look at ourselves in the mirror and we realize that we don't really look like them, we then start to hate ourselves. I feel like beauty standards are kind of brainwashing us to, you know, buy products that'll ultimately fix us or make us beautiful. And you know what's coming. Social media is a very, very, very big influence in this aspect. Social media has beauty effects and filters and Photoshop on top of an already very, very posed beautiful picture that only shows the good side of people. So we compare ourselves to other people. We look at ourselves and realize that, oh gosh, I'm so ugly compared to this person. And then a new insecurity happens. A new insecurity is unlocked. These beauty standards, they make us feel like we're not enough and we'll never be enough that we're always lacking something and that we're always going to be, you know, 2% short of being beautiful. The thing is, we're never gonna fit into the beauty standards because nobody is meant to fit into the beauty standards. I feel like the only way a person can completely fit into the beauty standards is through a combination of genetics, plastic surgery, makeup, probably, and a lot of money. To be honest, even then, they won't completely fit into that standard 24-7. Every single person on this planet, even identical twins, are completely different, both physically and mentally. So it doesn't really make sense that we're trying to, you know, force everybody into the same mold. It just doesn't make sense. I just wanna quickly talk about trends. So I know that there are a lot of different beauty trends and different challenges out there. But, and if it works for you, that's great. But it should never really dictate your life or your definition of beauty and self. So some trends can be really, really helpful. You know, maybe different ways to put on your makeup, maybe how to fix your posture and stuff like that. But certain trends can just be really toxic and potentially even dangerous. I would probably say the, the trends that have kind of rubbed me the wrong way are the nose challenge where you kind of put your finger on the bridge of your nose and you try to see uh, whether your nose is perfect or not. 
Another one is the symmetrical challenge where you can where you see how symmetrical your face is and the more symmetrical you are, the more attractive you are. Another one is the side profile challenge where you show the different profiles, so like the front profile, the side profile, the back, the three fourths, whatever, and people judge you and tell you whether you're pretty or you're handsome or whatever and it's really weird so some people might be like oh but this is just for fun like it's not really a big deal but actually it can influence a lot more than you would think so if you do a certain challenge and you realize that you don't really look like the way that you expected or maybe you just you don't look a certain way you then start to feel really ugly and you just feel horrible about yourself and the worst part is that you want to change yourself to match that trend you're not gonna magically feel beautiful after you change your features to whatever fits the society's standard for beauty. You think you're gonna feel beautiful after you lose that last 10 pounds? No, you're not. Or maybe after you change your face? Nope. Maybe get rid of your stretch marks? Nope. You are already beautiful. Just gotta believe it. My personal experience with beauty trends, it's not the greatest. I would say the biggest indicator was that I had no idea what a normal woman's body looked like until two years ago. And I had no idea that other people had different textures on their skin. No idea. So before that, I was constantly comparing myself to basically super, super filtered, smooth skin and supermodels. So of course I was always feeling like I wasn't enough. So when the symmetrical challenge kind of, you know, got popular, I tried it because I was like, oh, it's a, it's a cool trend. Let me just try it. And let me, oh my God, I was so shaken up because my face was so asymmetrical. I thought that something was wrong with me because all of these other, you know, TikTokers and Instagram accounts, they had perfect symmetrical faces and I didn't. One thing that's really, really sad about these beauty standards is how it affects kids. When I was a kid, I was worrying about my perfect body instead of, you know, being a kid. And it honestly breaks my heart to think that there are still kids and teens out there that are going through the exact same thing that I was going through when I was a kid and just feeling that they're not enough. Because of these beauty standards, I have developed a lot of insecurities and, you know, some of my insecurities are my calves. My calves are on the bigger side, so whenever I wear skinny jeans or leggings, they just pop out and it's been a very, very big insecurity. Insecure part of me. Hmm? Something that I've actually had to tell myself is that, all right, everybody has a stomach. Well, I mean like literal stomach, yeah, but also like, you know, skin folds. I'm talking, you know, rolls. So I would sit down and I would look at my rolls and I would be like, oh my gosh, like I'm so disgusting. But then even supermodels have skin folds because they're human. They're not a mannequin. I also have pretty big pores on my nose. So it's called like a strawberry nose or something. And that has been my insecurity ever since I was little. And I realized that pores are normal. Our skin needs to breathe. And the thing is, there is absolutely nothing wrong with my strawberry nose, my small teeth, my big calves. But growing up, I have been told that that was something that I needed to change in order to be beautiful. But I don't, and neither do you. Let's talk about the real beauty standards. To me, beauty is embracing your most genuine self. Because think about it, not one single person has your exact features. Only you do. And you know what else is really, really beautiful? Happiness. Happiness and confidence. When people are happy with who they are, it shows. They glow and add confidence to the equation. Oh my God, you are drop dead gorgeous. So one thing that I wanna say before I end this video is that beauty is not a one size fits all kind of deal. You are already enough and you are already beautiful, okay? So thank you once again so much for watching and I will see you next time. Sending you my love, bye.